want to take a few minutes of your time to talk about um, a thyroidectomy. We've already discussed hyperthyroidism and thyroid storm. We must remember that the thyroid, as part of the endocrine system, produces hormones. Those hormones are T3, T4, which stimulate the TSH. What's interesting about the thyroid, it also carries the parathyroid gland. So it's a tale of minerals. It's a tale of hormones and minerals and how they work together. When a patient presents with growths on the thyroid, which can be cancerous, which can be nodules, which can be a goiter, the physician decides that they perhaps need to do surgery. Um, as a result of that, a uh, plethoric amount of, of nursing interventions must be assessed. Prior to surgery, the patient will have an IV line. You need to prepare them that they're going to have general anesthesia. You need to prepare them that uh, postoperatively, uh, they may have a drain, and most likely they will have a drain because this is a bloody procedure. What the book and ATI says is 50 milliliters of drainage uh, the first 24 hours. After that, they say the drainage is scant. What I want to share with you also are because we're involving the parathyroid gland, we cannot forget the combination of phosphorus and calcium. And you may remember some of these uh, um, signs of, of uh, problems with electrolyte, hypocalcemia, uh, Chokoffs and Trousseaus. And that's something that comes in when we have uh, thyroidectomy. So I wanted to bring that to your attention. So, postoperatively, you're gonna have a drain. Watch for drainage. Hedis and high fowlers. Keep asking them to talk before you even progress to possible swallow. Um, check for twitching, which could be indicative of electrolyte imbalance. Um, basically, that's it in a nutshell. This is a severe presentation because obviously we can have problems. You can even have crepitus set forms or problems with shifting of the trachea. Please keep a close eye on these patients. I thank you for your time. I'll talk again soon.